Well, it's Thanksgiving. We give thanks to our military, our soldiers. We want to get them more money, more help. President Trump, he did ask each cabinet agency, including defense, to cut 5% or more from their budgets. That was before an alarming new report found that the American military could possibly actually lose wars with Russia and China. So the question tonight is, is it the wrong time to cut defense spending? Joining me now is former senior military intelligence officer on the FBI Joint National Terrorism Task Force. He's Steve Rogers. Great to see you, Steve. Oh, well, pleasure to be here. What do you think about these defense cuts? Well, to begin with, the uh, president of the United States is the American military's best friend. In 2018, he significantly increased the budget. He's going to do more in 2019. And, and keep in mind, he is very well aware that we need a strong Navy. He is funding uh, the Navy to forward deploy them in the Pacific, in the uh, Mideast region, to discourage anybody in those regions from attempting to challenge our U.S. military. In addition to that, remember the Space Force. He's forward thinking. He's a visionary. He's going to fund that Space Force to ensure that we're going to have the weapons necessary in the future to defend this country. So what is he talking about? Waste. He's talking about waste. He wants to target waste and get rid of the $1,000 hammers that we read about, the $2,500 uh, screwdrivers. He wants to zero in as, uh, on waste. As a good businessman he is, that's where you're going to see cuts. You know, the president has been made fun of by the media. Really? A space force? Well, you know what, Steve? China and Russia are going full bore on that. It's about the space of battle. It's outer space. It's cyberspace. Uh, and that's the issue, right, Steve? Well, absolutely. Look, I've served 25 years of my life in the United States Navy, and I could remember thinking about what are we going to do in the 21st century? Is anybody going to come with the vision of building a space force? And sure enough, President Trump decides he's going to look towards the future and start building space platforms and weapons okay. that will protect us in the years to come. Here's the other issue that the critics fail to recognize when they say, why are we spending more money on defense? Defense spending protects the powerful status of the U.S. dollar around the world, Steve. It is the world's reserve currency. It's used to price oil and all sorts of global trade. That defense spending helps protect the U.S. dollar. It certainly isn't important in the government treasury debt markets, right? Oh, absolutely right. And look, remember the saying, peace through strength? Well, a strong economy, a strong military, a strong everything. And look, from the day he took office, he made one priority, and that priority is to protect the American people. And that's exactly what he's delivering on. Steve Rogers, great to see you. And as a disclosure to you, viewers, Steve Rogers is a Trump 2020 campaign advisory board member. Next up, crude oil up 36.